Hi everyone, and I'm Tawny, and today on Screen Lane we're going to be talking about a story about a young woman and how her actions would change her life forever. Haley was a sweet, energetic girl who had her whole entire life planned out for her, until one day it came to a crashing halt. Here's more about that story. Haley and I have been friends since we were really little. We did everything together. Um, in high school we went to all the dances together and made sure we looked our best and our tannest for that. And she taught me how to ski. We spent all winter on the slopes. And we'd have to spend all summer trying to eat out our tan lines on the beach that we'd get from skiing. But everything's a little different now and Haley can't do any of those things. And it's been hard. Well, I noticed she started getting lots of weird colors on her skin and she was always complaining about her moles being really itchy and she'd scratch them and they would bleed, but she didn't think anything of it. And then later on she started complaining that she had pain under her armpits and we didn't realize that those were lymph nodes reacting to what was going on in her body. I talked to my dermatologist and she was really concerned, which is never a good thing. <laughs> she did a biopsy on a couple of my moles and they did find that I did have skin cancer. Um, she said that it had progressed far enough that it could be in my lymph nodes. Um, they totally skipped topical treatments. They started to burn off my moles, which is really painful and sore, and it made my arms really red. My neck was really red for a long time. Um, after that, I mean, she didn't know what else to do besides start radiation, which is never a good thing. It's super painful. It makes you so tired. Um, it's hard to really even just function in normal life. And, I mean, it's just funny because I could have prevented this so easily just by wearing sunscreen, but I was so worried about having this perfect golden glow. Today we are going to talk about skin cancer prevention and detection. So sometimes people will get a little sunburn and they'll consider it a minor incident. But what some individuals don't realize is even a little sunburn can turn into a severe and deadly cancer. In fact, in 2012, melanoma killed 9,251 people in the U.S. So what I want to talk to you about today is first prevention and second early detection. So first off, prevention. Now, the American Cancer Society has a fun little saying to help us remember how we can prevent skin cancer, and that is slip, slop, slap, and wrap. So first thing you're going to want to do is you're going to want to slip on a shirt or a sweater or something to cover up your arms. Then you're going to want to slop on some sunscreen and try and make sure it's an SPF 30 or higher because that will give you better protection. And then you're going to slap on a hat, and that can be as fun as you like. And then, just to finish it off and protect your eyes, go ahead and wrap on some sunglasses. And just two more things to remember. It's best if you can stay out of the sun between the hours of 10 a.m. and 4 p.m. because that's when the sun is most intense during the day. And finally, even when it's cloudy in the winter or it's a rainy day in the summer, you can still get a sunburn. And that's your sun safety. Okay, so then what happens if prevention doesn't work? Then the next thing we want to do is we want to try for early detection because if we can catch it early, hopefully it won't spread and then hopefully we'll have a better prognosis. So, how do you detect it early? Well, one of the best ways is to do a monthly skin exam and just really get to know the moles on your skin. So, how do you know if a mole is something to be worried about versus it's, it's not concerning and it's pretty safe? Well, we have another memory trick called the ABCDEs. So, A stands for asymmetry. So see on this mole right here, if you draw a line down the middle, it's pretty symmetrical on either side. So that looks pretty okay. But on this one, if you draw a line down the middle, it's very unsymmetrical, doesn't quite look the same on each side. That's maybe a sign of melanoma, something we might want to be concerned about. So that's for A. What about B? B stands for borders. So on this, you can see nice, smooth, even borders. Or on this other mole, you can see all these jagged, not very even, consistent borders. So that's something else to maybe be concerned about. So A, asymmetry, B, borders, C stands for colors. So this one, all one color, that's usually not very concerning, but this one over here, when you see multiple colors and it's just kind of all over the place, especially if you see some blacks and some, even some reds or some blues, then that can be really concerning and maybe you have a cancer that might be spreading. And the last one, or the second to last one, is diameter, D. And so what that means is sometimes we say that if your mole is smaller than in a pencil eraser, then that's usually not too bad, but if it's much bigger or it's, a, it's kind of an unusually large mole, then maybe that's another thing you want to consult with your physician about. And the last one is E for evolving. So if you see a mole on your skin and you notice it's the same over time, usually moles, they kind of just stay the same, that's a good sign. But if you find that your mole is changing drastically, then again, that's another sign you'll want to talk to your physician about. 
So there you go. There are your ABCDEs of detecting skin cancer. For more information about screening and prevention, go to skincancer.org. That's all for Screenline. And remember, everyone, wear your sunglasses and wear your hats.